Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Dive Rolling. I'm Adam. You're not excitable anymore. No, sometimes I'm the excitable Adam, other times it's Adam. I have to I say, can't... I think this is the first time that you said you're just Adam. <laughs> I'm just Adam tonight. I'm not that excited. <laughs> I am really excited about playing this, to be fair. It's uh, life getting to you a little bit. Maybe. Just living with you. Um, so, um, I'm Adam. And I'm Shows. And together, we're Adam and Shows. And we're going to be playing... Bristol 1350? Well done again. Nice. Um, so yeah, so we're playing Bristol 1350, okay. which is a game about... The plague. Set in... Bristol? Oh, you've been paying attention. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is a one to nine player game. Um, and I love that range. I mean, that's great. One like, to nine. Gotta love a range. Uh, yeah, like, there's not that many board games that you can play with nine people, is there? Well, there's a few. Quite a lot of the facade games... Uh, the, the guys who made these games, they are like big amount of players. Because but in general, yes, you're looking at. They, sorry, you carry on. I'm just saying you're looking at like five to six players maximum for most board games, really. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember we played one of their other games of Salem. Yeah. Your family way back when. Mm -hmm. Um, and that was there were quite a few of us playing then. Yeah, you can have quite a, quite a few in Salem. And Tortuga, I think, plays up to nine as well. I don't know if I've played Tortuga. You have. It's two pirate ships, and you're trying to steal gold from each other. It's a great game. Um, so, yes. Are you sure? Huh? Are yeah, you, you sure? definitely played okay. it. Um, great memory there. So, uh, <laughs> we're going to be playing Bristol. Um, <laughs> it's just life with me, isn't it? Basically. So, we did this thing. Are you sure? <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Die Rolling. We have just set up Bristol... 1350? Is that all it's called? Yeah. No black player you're in. Okay. You um, say we just set this up, but I mean, I have. Well, I'm here too, so I'm taking credit. <laughs> Fair enough. Shall I read you the overview? Oh, let's hear the overview. Let's, it, it has got a couple of paragraphs, so be ready for me to stumble over some words. The dreaded black plague has descended upon the town of Bristol. It's not a city. I think back then it was a town. I thought Bristol was a city. Yeah, anyway, back into the character. Uh, you are racing down the streets in one of the three available apple carts, desperate to escape into the safety of the countryside. If your cart is the first to leave the town and is full of only healthy villagers when you leave, you and your fellow cartmates successfully escape and win the game. Woohoo! However, some villagers on your cart may contract the plague along the way. If they do, they'll do anything to hide their symptoms from you so that you won't leave them behind. If you leave town with a plagued villager on your cart, you will catch the plague and die as well. You must do whatever is necessary to make sure that doesn't happen. And that's it. Yeah. So, these are three different apple carts here. Uh, we have birch, which is the top one. We have cedar, which is this one here. And we have oak, which is just down here. Well, sorry, there was a little uh, facial expression there from Shex. What, what's up? So, Birch and Cedar are both uh, words on my unit. Well, there we go. <laughs> so, yeah. That's why I was like, they sound familiar. I've heard those words recently. Um, because we're playing two-player, we actually also have some artificial intelligence on here. Mm -hmm. So, the Sheriff and the Countess are going to be playing as well. But, um, yeah. Say that second one again. Countess? Okay. What did you think I said? No, you just said Countess. Oh, are you saying Countess. That? Countess, that's, it. that's exactly how you said it. Countess. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> can't, can't, can't do it now. Okay, should I draw another card? Right, so, um, to begin with, we're going to find out who's going to be going into which cart. Now, the birch cart begins with two people in, cedar one and the oak one as well. So, just have the... Do you know what? You can grab these out. So draw. No way. Yeah, yeah. Pick oh one. man, it's my lucky day. One, two, three, and then the last one goes in there as well. Fingers on. You're gonna struggle with this. So, so the knight goes in the very front of the birch apple cart. That's you. That's me. I'm then flip these over. No, no, no. Next one. If you if you'd had, I said that one, this one, this one, and then finally in the that one again. So the sheriff is in the cedar one. Follow our show, she's playing the friar in the oak. And then the countess is joining me at the back of the apple cart. You can hear what good quality the uh, carts are when you drop in the little pins. <laughs> you can hear it. Just everyone stay quiet for one second. Oh, 
I know, so good as well. right? This is the deluxe version. There is, <laughs> I think you have plastic ones in the regular game, but um, this is just absolutely lovely, isn't it? You're living a charmed life right now, aren't you, with all these? Uh, <laughs> all these. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, so uh, we're going to, so we're in Bristol and we're not feeling very well. So we're going to be getting some symptoms at the moment. Um, now, the artificial guys, they also have symptoms. Uh, and we don't want to have six. If you have a value of six in your hand, then... You've got the plague, mm -hmm. and that's not that's not good. So keep this to yourself. You never reveal to anyone what your symptoms are. Okay. If you start off with six, you have the plague. Okay. So if you do have the plague, you can still win if there's no one else who um, in your car. If nobody else makes it out of the city, if everyone dies of the plague, then the plague players win. So these had um, these had various values from one to three in. We're now adding the bubos in here, which basically add fours into here. So it's you don't want to get these coming out. How many are you putting them all in? Yep, oh, all no. of them go in. And you'll see when these get added in a little moment. Is this the first player card? No, that's just a card that came to tell you what to do with the um, deluxe characters oh so new symptoms go here where it says new symptoms it is really nice foil card okay so i'm going to take you through a round of this so you know what we're doing please do okay so just put these over here these are their symptoms so at the start of a round what's going to happen is we're going to roll all these dice one person does it what roll dice see how many dice to roll that's right it's not it's not kind of done here um so you roll all of these and then we get these out to have a look what values we've got on there. Now there's two symbols on each dice and three different colours on each dice, which match the cards. Oh! So an apple is just a good, a good roll. The rat symbol is something you don't want to get. Because if you get two rat symbols, you are going to mingle with whoever's on the cart with you. What this means is if I if this carries on as it is, mm -hmm. the, before we move these guys. I'll have to put my two symptoms into the birch cart. Mm -hmm. The countess who's with me, she'll have to put her two into there. And we add one of these in there. We shuffle them up. And then we take back two cards and discard the other card. Okay. I like that. There's an element of chance, isn't there? There is an element of chance. So, um, once you've done this whole mingle thing, you then move these depending on how many colours are out. So, oak would move three, cedar would move one. These guys have moved mm -hmm. two. Okay. So the first player is the person who's in the cart that's closest to the end, which is always birch to begin with. So first, second, third, just in mm -hmm. the very first turn. Um, so on your turn, there's a couple of things you do. Mm -hmm. So you can re-roll two dice, any two dice you like. You can draw a remedy card. I've just realized I've not handed these out to us. So we, we get two of these each. Uh, and I'll talk you through those in just one second. Um, you can kick somebody out of your cart. So if you're at the front of your cart, mm -hmm. you can kick the person who's in the back of your cart to the very last cart at the back. Okay. Did you see that? Because you were looking at your cart. So I'm not sure you saw what you did. So if you're in the front of the cart, you can kick the person out to the end cart. Yes, the very back of the end cart. If you are in the second or third one and you're at the front, you could jump to the back of that cart. Mm -hmm. And if you're in the middle of a cart or at the back, you can elbow your way to the front. Oh, you can fit three people. You can th fit three people in there. Nice. Okay. And if, when you get to the finish, whoever gets through to the finish, you will be checking everybody's symptom cards. And if anybody has six or more, everyone in that cart's dead. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Okay. Right. Remedy cards, you can play at any point. If you need to know what they do, just ask. And I'll tell you. Do you want to ask me what it does? What allows me to get rid of things? Get rid of my symptoms? So you might have things like, uh, you might have a pomanda, which allows you to draw two extra symptoms and keep any two of the four discarded and then discard the other two. I might have one of them, which is how I could read that out really well. Um, if you do have six though, yeah. that's it for the rest of the game. Yeah. You are you are played. You can you can get rid of these cards, mm -hmm. but you are always played. 
There are things like whips in this game, which stop people from being able to move you around as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, are we ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So um, I am going to roll... I'm going to re-roll these two here. So, unfortunately, at the moment, Birch is going to be moving four spaces, but there's definitely going to be a mingling happening here. Okay. Okay? Right, so I've had my go. The next person to go is whoever's in second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, along that. And it's going to be the Countess. Now, what they do is they roll the dice for the cart that's furthest along. If they're in that cart, they're not going to do it, so they'll go to the next one. So, basically, they're going to roll this red dice. If it's an apple, they'll then try to move closer towards the, the the front of their vehicle they're in. Okay. Oh, there's a black apple. So basically, um, they elbow me out the way. Okay. Next is blue, because this is in second place. So blue, if you want to roll um, a white dice, because that's the card that's currently in the lead. Just one? Yep. The, the AI only gets to roll one dice. Okay, so we've got a red apple. Because it's an apple, they will jump into the... <laughs> Whoops. They will jump into this cart. It's a great demonstration of, um, of this, isn't it? I mean, I feel like you can feel the chaos of being in a city in the middle of a plague, right? That's it. And now it's your turn. So to remind you what you can do, <laughs> yeah. you can roll any two dice. Because you're at the front of this, you could jump into this one. Um, at any point. As you your action do... for this turn. As my action. Yeah, so your action is you can move into this one, mm -hmm. you can roll two dice, um, you can draw a remedy card. Um, okay, I guess I should move, right? So at the moment, your card is going to be moving two spaces where that's only moving one, so you might not oh. want to do that. Okay, right, so I'll just stay where I am then, and... If you roll re-roll two of these dice, you could get more black to move yourself forward. Okay, let's do that. Okay, what did you get? Two rats, red rats. Two red rats. So, starting with who's in first place, uh, so we do mingles first. There's no mingling happening in this one because we only have one dice, so we move forward one. Uh, I thought they... okay. Okay, so um, this is going to be moving three spaces. One, two, three. And then the black one is moving for two spaces. Right, so now if you'd like to roll the six dice, and we're on to the second round. Okay. There's a lot of rats. <laughs> so three grey, two red. One black apple. Okay, and you are the first player to go because you're closest toward the exit. So what would you like to do? So I can re-roll two dice. Two dice hoping that I'll get a black one basically. Yeah, or you can jump into the red car. Which is potentially moving two spaces. Yeah, and there's no one there to mingle with right now, is there? Nope. Okay, let me do that. Okay, so next to the Countess, so she's going to roll a red dice because the red one's in the lead. <sighs> okay. Oops, sorry, and I rolled onto a red rat. And a red rat, so because it's a rat, she doesn't do anything else. Mm -hmm. So it's my turn. Um... Okay, I'm going to... Move forward. And now it's the sheriff's turn. Uh, so he's going to roll a red dice. <laughs> a red rat, so he doesn't do anything. Okay, so now we're doing mingling. So um, you're in front, so we're going to do yours first. So basically, your two symptom cards put into the cedar area. Okay, but there's no one in there but me. Let's just do it for me. And then we have one of these. We'll shuffle that up. Pick two cards. Okay. Right, and now mingling happens for these guys as well. So for Birch, all these go in, plus one of those. 
and shuffle those for me and then just deal them out to all of us. Okay. Right, and then we move. So uh, we start with the red one because you're in you're in front. Uh, then the black one moves forward one, and then white moves forward three. So one, two, three. Okay. So when it gets to the next point, will people start jumping into the red car? If they roll apples, they will be able to jump okay. in. So we've got one white, we've got uh, two apples and a thing there, and then we have an apple and a red for there. Right, uh, your turn, Chase. So I think I'm going to play this right, I hope. So I'm going to use arsenic. Yeah. To lock two dice. Okay, cool. So which two dice do you want to lock? So with that apple, does that mean that I'm moving forward? Because yeah, anything red. that's that colour is okay. going to move you forward that many so spaces. I'm going to lock those two dice. Okay, cool. So let's just put that over there and put these on here. Mm -hmm. So we know we can't do that. So that's, um, now you get to do something else because they don't count as part of your turn. Oh, do they not? Yeah. So you could roll two dice if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Or you could, I could couldn't I? get a remedy card. Oops, sorry. That wasn't. No, oh, didn't help. Okay, uh, my turn next. I'm going to jump into your cart. Oh, you can just do that? Yeah, because I'm at the front. Uh, the Countess's turn, so she's going to. I thought you had to get an apple. I don't have to get an apple. So the AI, basically, they get to move forward if they've rolled an apple but for me as part of my turn if i'm at the front of one of the guys okay. in the second or third i can jump right. okay so the ai is going to roll for the black one i guess and she got an apple so she's going to jump into here and then he's going to roll for one as well and he got an apple so what happens is he basically takes her place Right, so um, there's no mingling apart from this one. So red moves forward two, uh, white moves forward two, and black moves forward two. We'll turn to roll. Hmm. So many rats. I guess it's very fitting, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, because you're at the front, if you want to, you can knock one of us to the very end cart. That's one of the options you can do when people are on your cart. Either of you? Yeah, either of us. So you want to... Okay, cool. So uh, you're <laughs> kicking me back to the, the end there, and that's the end of your go. Uh, so blue... Oh, is that it? Okay. Yeah, that's your go. So blue's going to go next. Um, they're not going to roll red because they're in, in mm -hmm. red, so they're going to roll white. So did you roll the white one for me? If it gets an apple... Why would they roll white? Uh, because they always, they always go for the one that's furthest towards the exit. Okay. Um, so you've got to mingle there. So you've got a rat. He's not going to do anything. Purple's next. So she's going to roll a red. Another rat. So she's not doing anything. And then my turn. Um, I'm going to... Oh, I don't really want to... I'm going to re-roll two dice. Okay, cool. So, mingling begins. Mm -hmm. So, the sheriff and the friar get to know each other a little better. Okay. And then um, I have to mingle as well. Okay, let's take a look, see how I'm doing. Okay, 
Uh, and then we move. So um, we've got three for both red and black. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, what we got here? Oh, a few apples. A couple of apples. The rats haven't eaten all of them. Uh, we've got two red rats. On a white apple. Okay, cool. Uh, you are the you are first player, so what do you want to do? You can kick blue off of your cart, or you can uh, pick up a remedy. You're there, aren't you? Um, or you can... I'm going dice. to kick blue out of my cart. So you go to the very end of the back one, so oh. behind purple, yeah. Okay. Um, you don't jump into mine, though. I'm jumping into yours. Ugh. You'll be kicking me out, don't worry. Uh, and then uh, purple's going to roll the red dice, Chase. Okay, got an apple, so purple's jumping. Mm -hmm. And then um, blue's going to roll the red dice as well. Apple as well, so also jumping. Okay, so... Um... <laughs> okay, so red moves forward one. Uh, black moves forward four, so one, two, three, four. Oh, it jumps. Yep, and white moves forward one. Okay. If you land in the same space, you shut that person forward, though. Mm -hmm. We're nearing the end now. You've got yeah. six dice. And the Countess gets to go first. Oh. Am I still pronouncing that incorrectly? No, that was just, normal. Just the once. Just the once. Or twice. <laughs> okay, cool. So the Countess, she's going to roll the red dice, the red apple. Okay, so the Countess is going to kick him out because she got an apple. Uh, so your turn now. Would you like to jump into the grey one or do you want to kick me out of that one? Or do you want to roll two dice? I'm going to roll two dice. Okay. Oh. Okay, so rats. Um, I'm going to elbow past you. And then blue is going to roll a black dice. I'm not do anything. So black moves forward. Oh, black's got to. The countess has got to uh, mingle. mingle. And then two for the Countess, two for us, and then two for them as well. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Is it? Yeah. Well, I don't think it was, but hey, what we got? Three reds, three whites. Okay, so the Countess goes first. Um, if you want to reroll the red apple. She's got a black apple. She can't do anything in this. Um, so that's fine. Then I'm going to kick you out. I knew that was coming. Um, and then Blue's going to go. So Blue's going to roll the black dice. And got a white rat. So nothing. And what would you like to do? So my options are elbow Blue out of the way. Mm -hmm. Roll two dice. Yep. And hope one of them is an apple so I can move forward. Can you use it like that? No, no AI is the only one who uses apples to move forward. Oh, um, one thing I can't to jump though, I need to elbow him. You need to be at the to front to do it. Yeah. It's worth noting the moment you're going to be mingling with him. Mm. And if the Countess is hasn't got the plague and managed to get out, then she wins the game. <laughs> okay, thanks for that. Mm. Boosting me out. Oh. Um, okay, so that's everybody yeah cool so, so um starting with oh, red wait, did the knight move and do something yeah he rolled and didn't do anything so one two three four oh nice so we now see if i have the plague if i have the plague i lose but i did have the plague so did you yep i started off with three and three no so uh, normally when you play a game over like <laughs> over three people, you have to reshuffle that. But yeah, I started off with a play. So oh. I've got a vested interest that everyone dies. So uh, next is that there. Okay. 
Okay, so I'll do the rolling now. Okay. So I can still win if everyone dies. No one makes it out of Bristol alive. Okay, so purple's gonna go first and purple is gonna want to roll the white dice. What did she get? A red apple, doesn't do anything. Uh, blue is going to roll a black dice. And a white apple, so please jump it in there. What do you want to do? You can jump into the gray one if you like. No, so I don't think my eyes are very good. So I'm going to... Okay. Okay, so black moves forward one, white moves forward one. Okay, ooh, a lot of white rats here. Okay, so these guys are going to go first. So she's going to roll one of these. Got a red apple, so she kicks blue out into yours. Oh. Uh, and then it's your turn. You can jump into hers if you like. Or you can roll dice. So as it stands right now, I really just want to be in the cart on my own, don't I? As much as possible. <laughs> I need to... Oh, no, okay. I'm going to jump in here. Okay. Okay. And then it's Blue's turn. Mm -hmm. So Blue's going to roll red because he's not going to roll his own colour. And he got a red apple. Oh. <laughs> okay, cool. So uh, reds don't move because they're not on the board. This moves forward three, one, two, three, shunting you. And then uh, he's got one space left to go. Okay, so we've got, she's quickly checking her cards, hoping she can get out of this. So at the moment, Oak is going to have a mingle. So starting with um, the Countess, she's gonna roll a red dice. If this is an apple, you're getting kicked out. It is a great mingle. Don't be, to be honest, I'd prefer to get kicked out right now, right? <laughs> right? Well, it depends, because if these guys uh, if these guys haven't got the plague and they get out, they win the game and you lose. Mm. I'm hoping one of them's got the plague and you come out, because then I'll win. Really, nobody wins. So I can't even get out of that anymore, can I? No, unless you have a remedy card of some kind. Well, can I talk you through mine? You can talk me through. So I've got one remedy card left. One of it is crystal emeralds, which give you one extra movement. Elbow, dash, or push. So I could elbow them both out of the way, couldn't I? So the elbow would enable you to move to the front of that. And yeah. then for your action this turn, you could kick one of those guys out into the back. So that might help you because... You only got like half the chance that your whistle is yeah. played. Okay. Or the chicken allows me to re-roll two, two dice an extra three times, but that's not really helpful, is it? Okay, let me do that then. So I am the yellow one. So I'm going to elbow this guy out of the way. Yeah. And, and then, then who are you pushing out the cart? Now, oh. the blue's not gone yet, but purple has. If you keep blue in there, they're not going to roll a grey dice. They'll be rolling okay. a white dice, but it's up to you because it's whoever you think, uh, whoever you think is going to be the. I mean, there's no way of knowing, is there? There is no way. Can you remember who's no. had the most mingles? I think the Countess has, which is why I was going to kick her out. She's purple, isn't she? Yeah. I think she's been involved with more people. And there she is, lying dead in her yeah. card. Um, left behind. Okay, so Blue's going to roll a dice. It'll be one of these. She. A red or <laughs> white thing. So, before we move, we're going to do a little mingle. So, um, need your cards there. And an extra card. Up to this point, have you had the plague? No. Oh! <laughs> well, here we go. Okay. Um, and then we have a little mingle here. Just in case you guys die, she could still win it. 
Okay, so Grey moves out, and now we reveal. Show us your cards here, Chase. So what do we got? I have got two. So two headaches. Yeah. Oof. Let's have a look at that one. So yeah. if that's six or more, game over. Ah. Oh. He had the chills. So the sheriff who was in here has killed you. Um, so you go off coughing away, joining me. I bet your countess is healthy as London anyway. This, that'll be the kicker, right? Yeah. So uh, the countess has got two. I did her mingle, didn't I? Mm -hmm. So she moves two spaces here. And now we see, was the countess of Bristol infected? She had a cough? Oh. And Buber, so yes. So. We all lost. I win because I was a plagued player. Okay. So in fact, you lost. <laughs> <laughs> And that is a first go uh, multiplayer game of Bristol 1315. That was good. So I was waiting for Shost to have a big slurp of a tea then. Um, so we played Bristol 1350. Shost, <laughs> what were your thoughts? That's my nice spit tea. Well, there we go. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, <laughs> what do you think to Bristol 1350? Yeah, I liked it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> um, yeah, I also, I really enjoy this game. Like, this I is sell. this is a fun game. Can I say, like, earlier on today, Adam was like, oh, yeah, I've already played this one player, and it's really good. And then he, like, said that we were just going to play one game, and we've played two games. Because you really wanted to play it, didn't you? Yeah, is that a problem? Guess not. Well, there we go. Um, no, but Adam really enjoyed this game. And you really enjoy all of the games by these guys, don't you? They do really. Like, one of the games, Deadwood, I'm not as keen on. But um, overall, of the games they do in this series, I really do enjoy. Mm -hmm. they're, they're fun games. And it's also something that when we weren't in a COVID world, um, often at, uh, at my work, we would play these at lunchtimes. And it was quite fun just like sitting down, playing a game with people at work, which you can, you know doesn't take a lot of kind of setup or yeah. tear down and it's still quite fun to play so so yeah and it is a lunchbox game like, it is nice right it's well, right? i mean it's it's quite small yeah. um you could actually smuggle your food in there as well so it is technically a lunchbox as well um so we always go with components to begin with when we talk about this yes. and this is the deluxe version and you can really tell it's deluxe because just everything in this is very nice yes i would agree so, um, as always, got I mean, a little, it's just going to go just gonna fly out. out. It's got a little yeah. magnetic kind of clasp there. Um, but you got some lovely artwork on here. Um, all the kind of artwork for the character. Actually, that was your character. That was the, uh, the, the fryer, the fryer yeah. wasn't it? All the kind of character eyes kind of like based on tarot cards, I think. Like they all look very tarot card esque, the okay, artwork, yeah, I, I think. Um, so let's go past the rule book. We don't really care about that. Um, you got some nice little kind of um, art prints in this as well. But if you've seen the unboxing oh, just videos, just for, just, for the fun of it. just for the fun of it, if you've seen the um, the unboxing video, you would have seen all this already, to be fair. Can I just say one thing that I noticed straight away was, so you said that this was just in the deluxe version, right? Yeah. But it says, uh, I, I've forgotten already, uh, death was our constant companion. And then if you go through all of the character cards, death is with we, each one of them, even with... There was one that I noticed, but they just like snuck them in. Where was it? It's probably one of these other cards that are in here. Oh, uh, probably. But even that, like, that's just hanging off the, the front of his horse. Just, yeah. Oh, no, it was this one. It was the Mason. He's just, you know, working away, doing his jobs. And then uh, there's all that. Yeah, just hiding up there. Yeah, I, I just thought, like, it's very nice it's, touches, it's really isn't it? It's really lovely. Really, really lovely. Like, these people are just, like, being followed by death wherever mm. they go. Um, so, yeah. So, like, let's talk about the artwork on these cards to begin oh, with. So, lovely. like, they're just really nice. Yeah. Like I say, they kind of like tarot cards. Um, and because of the era this game's set in, I think that's quite a good yeah. kind of thing to do, really. Yeah. I like that they're uh, two-sided as well. So, we weren't playing the... Was it advanced, advanced? Yeah. Yeah. So we were just using one side of the card, but then if you flip it over when you're playing advanced, you get like these extra um, extra abilities. Extra abilities, which yeah. is just a lovely touch. Because normally you just have to like stick it on beside your character somewhere, right? Right, exactly. Or have a little token or yeah. something. Um, so all the um, all the kind of artwork on this, like we say, really, really good. Yeah. Like even even these kind of um, the symptom cards, nice kind of like little illustrations. Yeah. The chills. Um, and then obviously we have the horrible 
play kind of viewers stuff yeah. there as well um so yeah you get a bunch of cards in this yeah the remedies all have really nice artwork on them as well <laughs> um and yeah let's talk about other components in here because Ooh. this is the bit that we both really like we like a good coin really don't we, we do like a good i coin. think most people do though like to to get a board game and then like feel a little like a little the weight, weight of metal little weight in like there. it's quite nice so you get these um coins yeah so we, we don't use these them. things in it we don't use coins um so yeah there's a little variant in the game where you can use some coins and it kind of adds a bit of a yeah. variety in the game um we the actual little kind of um carts nice. we're playing with these are like really nice metal mm -hmm. kind of carts in all the colors and even the um custom engraved dice as well like i really like the rat symbol on this because it took me a minute to figure out what that was but it it, it looks really cool it's um, just a rat or an apple, isn't it? Yeah, a rat or an apple. That's you it. think I would have realised um, in the whole time of playing. <laughs> Do you want me to pull that? And then we've also got the little pawns as well, which fit nicely and snug inside those uh, those little uh, mm -hmm. carts as well. And then we've got a little mat for still. A little neoprene mat. And most of their games, I don't think Deadwood came with one, but um, most of their games come with a little neoprene yeah. mat as well, which, um, which nice. is great because you can just roll out playing on... Um, play wherever you are and this doesn't take up much space at no. all does it like you can have yeah. this th I think this takes up less space than Fugitive because Fugitive you've got cards that kind yeah, of spread out whereas true. this is like very contained You, it's very portable thanks well, there we go good to know um, so component wise how would you rate this uh, lovely but I would like to see a non-deluxe version and see but I, I think given the quality of the art of the cards I think any of the any of the versions of it would be lovely. Yeah. Like, so it, it feels like and they've done it nicely, haven't they? Well, yeah, the thing is, like, um, sorry. Sorry, no, not to interrupt you, but um, interrupting you. <laughs> um, no, but with their other games, they, they were quite nice as well. Exactly. So I they, feel like the producing stuff had a good, good standard. Yeah, agreed. And, like, they always have this nice book finish as well, which, you know, for, you for someone who owns it. all of these kind of boxes and stuff, it's nice to have something a bit different. And, um, so yeah, so component wise, sorry for the jump cut. Um, so yeah, component wise, really good. Mm -hmm. um, like for me, this is just just lovely. Like, what, yeah. probably one of the best components of games we've played recently. And like you said last time in our last video, we've played a lot of good games with yeah. good components recently. Oh, yeah. um, so gameplay wise, what do you think? It took me a while to get the hang of it, but yeah, I, I like it. I kind of feel like it's one of those games that when you play with more people. It, there'd be a lot more interaction. Yeah. There'd be a lot more um, kind of like disguising your symptoms, maybe. Um, and like maybe if you had some higher cards, you might want to try to get uh, pass them off to other people and stuff. Yeah. So I think there's a lot more when you're playing with more people, it's probably a bit more interactive. Whereas I kind of felt like we were just kind of yeah. just going along at the same speed. Yeah, I felt as well that it was such a quick game that I didn't really have enough time to do for the to do different things like it was just yeah. you have to make a quick decision obviously I didn't but you have to make a quick decision about what you want to do and that yeah you can get discovered quite quickly I think yeah, yeah. and you did in the end I did I did Really. Yeah, it's nice that they had like um I quite like the AI in it that they were mm. doing stuff as well. So it wasn't just us versus each other. There was some more interaction. At what point do the AIs disappear? Like how many players can you uh when you have four or more players. Four or more. Okay. Yeah. So minimum if you want to play this without AI, it's four players. Um but three or less it's you've got AI in there. Um, or if you just want to cheat and get out really quickly, you can just play with one, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just play with yourself. Oh, yeah. wait. It doesn't sound right. Um, you still have to mingle those. There's still a chance you could get infected. Yeah. Um, or get the plague just like you did. Just like first. I did from the very offset. Um, so, yeah. So, like, from my perspective, it reminded me a bit of Tortuga, which doesn't mean much to you because you can't remember these games. Um, I remember some of them. In the games. sense that, like, in Tortuga, depending on where you were in the boat, it meant you could do different things. Um you just remember yeah that, i just remember that yeah, yeah um so in this in this regard if you're the front of your car you could do something differently if you're in the middle or the back um and yeah it's just i quite like the manic race to try to get to the yeah. end before anyone else and in my case i was infected and so i was trying to like i was hoping to mingle with other people to get them infected as well mm -hmm. um 
but yeah, I didn't really get a chance to in the end. Okay. Um, but I'd, I'd quite be quite interested to see how it plays with the advanced mode as well, with the, the different character abilities. Yeah, one thing is, like, you could have just lied, couldn't you? And just said no, I wasn't infected to begin with. I mean, I could have, but then there'd be no point of playing the game if you're going to just lie about Yeah. I, I could imagine some people doing that, though. Like, if, if it was the, the same situation as what you started off with, and you started off with six, but then the rest of the game you're okay. I know, I can imagine some people... Yeah, some people might. But then I guess that's there's always an element. It's just your view on the human species, right? Hopefully, people playing this game aren't going to try to, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to like cheat anybody. Yeah. Um, so yeah, gameplay wise, um, I really enjoyed this. You I, kind of like need to I play need, a bit more. Yeah, right? I need to play it a bit more. Yeah. So this I've, is, I've warmed to it like over the course of the game. All yeah. Twenty minutes of it. Yeah. <laughs> so this is like a first impression video. This isn't like a, a big review or anything like that. Uh, because yeah, this is the first time we've both played this multiplayer. Um. So it's often we play multiplayer games for the first time when I've, I play it, only played it solo, yeah. so it's interesting to play with other people. Um, so, is this a, a buy, a play, or a avoid for you? But play, yeah. You want to play some more to get a good yeah, idea of whether this is... Yeah, i played some more, yeah. And I'd probably recommend it to, for other people to play, but um, yeah, I wouldn't quite as get it. But again, it's me. Yeah, that's you. Um, for me, um, well, yeah, it's a buy for me just because... If you're looking for a fun game to add to your collection that looks mm -hmm. beautiful on the table, this is a great, great purchase for you. Um, but yeah, this isn't really a review. This is more of a first impression. So I need to play this a bit more as well to have a more balanced opinion on this because it's a very shiny new game for me. So I'm like, oh, so good. Literally shiny. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so I'm probably more excited than maybe I should be. Yeah. So um, we'll be doing a, uh, a proper review of this with Jamie and Will once the lockdown kind of procedures are down a bit. And we will probably be comparing this with the other facade games again and go into a bit more detail to see which out of the four games they've released in this series uh, is the is the best of those. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. We already have a video, a comparison video of three of them, um, but we didn't really go into a lot of detail. Well, this time around, I think we should properly show out all the gameplay. Um, and yeah, just see how many times we can screw well over as well. So that's always a bonus. Um, so anyway, yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, if you've enjoyed this, and please like and subscribe to our various different social media channels and leave some comments below. Um, do you know what we're playing next time? No, you haven't told me. I haven't told you, so it'll be a surprise. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it could be anything. Um, <laughs> Just like a six hour long. Yeah, like, so we're going to play a little yeah. game called Twilight Imperium. Um, what was that? It's like a, it's a six yeah. hour game. Do you um, have no, I don't. I do have a game called um, Axis vs. Vers Allies vs. Zombies. Okay. Which is is about six six and a half hours. Really fun. Anyway, so um, it won't be six hour long game. It'll probably be like an hour, hour and a half maximum. Probably a short game. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, stay safe and keep rolling. <laughs>